Alright, our topic before the midterms is tourism and hospitality pathway to entrepreneurship. So let's discuss kung ano na ba yung careers under the hospitality industry. Career opportunities in the sectors of tourism and hospitality. Well, why? Eh, entrop- uh, eh, entrepreneurship na tayo. Mga bakit kailangan na pag-aralan yung career opportunities. Well, bilang newly graduates or fresh commerce in the industry, you should know what are the key functions of um, of the of uh, the players or the members of our industry. So, dapat alam niyo rin yan para alam niyo sino yung hire niyo, ano yung mga qualities na kailangan um, kailangan makita niyo sa isang aplikante. Diba? So, let's discuss it one by one. The tourism and hospitality is a diverse industry that offers long-term career opportunities for enthusiastic individuals who want to put their education and skills to work in various environments. In the hospitality, kapag BSHRM or tourism graduate ka, well, actually, some call us the jack of all trades. Kasi pag HRM or tourism graduate ka, you can apply in any industry. Kaya yung iba sa atin, you'll find them in banks, you'll find them in um, associations or private organizations. So, marami. Very diverse yung ating industry na pwedeng puntahan. So, also, for those naman na mag- nag-aaspire na mag-work under the same industry, sa industry talaga natin, sa hospitality, there are long-term opportunities for you. Long-term career opportunities kasi mabilis ang mga promotion mabilis ang promotion sa ating uh, industry. Although, dahil na diverse ang industry natin, medyo um, yung mga positions, the titles, medyo iba dun sa corporate setting. Iba talaga sa kung i-align mo siya in the corporate world. Iba yung sa atin, for example, senior manager ka, pero ang role mo is actually a supervisory role. Hindi siya senior manager sa corporate pag inalign mo, an executive na. Diba? Pag sinabing senior manager sa corporate setting, executive department ka uh, member. Pero pag senior manager sa hotels or sa industry natin, sometimes ang role na yun is just supervisory. Okay? People in the tourism and hospitality may work indoors or outdoors. Standard hours or on a flexible schedule. Seasonal jobs or all year round. It's one of the most exciting and diverse career paths out there. Well, actually, this is quite true. Kasi, sabi ko nga, uso nga yung multi-skilling and multi-tasking sa atin. So, you'll never get bored of your work. Indoors or outdoors? Indoors for those who work in the restaurants, airline, in ground, uh, ground airline or ground travel, yeah. mga indoors. Pag outdoors naman, mga tour operators, those who do field work, mga sales team, mga, mga hotels, mga airlines, mga restaurants, they do field work too. Standard hours yan, yung mga katulad na sa front desk or operations. Mga na, pag nasa operations ka, you have a standard um, schedule. Ska, standard work schedule. can be an 8-hour or 10-hour job. Or it can be a flexible schedule. Kung mga nasa sales department ka, yan. you can have a flexible schedule. Seasonal jobs are all year round. Seasonal yan yung mga wait staff. It can be an on-call status or all year round yan, pag regular role ka.
na mention ko na to last uh, week or last topic natin that the tourism and hospitality is divided into five career areas. Ano ulit yun? Accommodation, food and beverage, recreation and entertainment, transportation, and lastly, travel services. So all of these areas involve providing services to people. And also, kailangan din ng people to serve these people. Diba? To serve our clientele. What kinds of careers are available in the tourism and hospitality industry? From operational positions to management and executive level responsibilities, you'll find opportunities for solid training, knowledge and skill development, along with unlimited career tools. The tourism and hospitality industry also offers a unique environment for those who wish to start their own business. Well, Sa industriyahan natin, mayroong mga operational position. Ito yung mga front of the house positions. Meron din ang mga back of the house positions. Mga nasa management side naman ito. Mga offices. Sa hotel. Ang front of the house dyan, saka operations, front desk, restaurants or food and beverage outlets. Mga nasa management naman, ito na yung mga nasa supervisory or managerial roles. Executive level, pag nga yung executive level sa ating industriya, ito na yung mga top VIPs ng ating management. General manager, executives and vice president, executive vice president, so vice president, director level, Operational positions. Operational positions may include um, bartender, concierge, F&B promotions executive, the cooks, the front office agents, the sales coordinator. What are these operational positions? These are usually um, positions that are involved with direct contact with tourists and often the first step in a lifetime career. Yung mga entry-level positions, yan, nung, nung time ko, pagka-graduate ko, nung nagsisimula pa lang ako, ang unang trabaho ko is sa Sofitel. Ang trabaho ko sa Sofitel is actually a receptionist, a lady receptionist sa banquets. Mama nang nagagawa nun, sa magaling sabi, pag sinabi kong receptionist sa banquets, taga-usher ka sa seats ng guests sa event na yun, pag serving time na, taga-bus out ka ng mga um, yung mga naunang plates na ibinaba, o kaya naman, taga-refill ka ng tubig, taga-fetch ka ng coffee, ganun. Para kang wait staff, although lighter ang job mo, hindi ka masyadong nagbubukat pag sinawag, pag sinawag na receptionist ka. So, these positions, yung mga first steps sa career mo or mga entry-level jobs, often, more often than not, ito, ito yung mga positions na nagpo-fall under the category of operational positions. Yung may direct contact. Ma'am, so it's coordinator, may direct contact na yan. Yes. Kapag may nag-walk in sa hotel or sa restaurant, sinong nag attend sa inquiry? They are the sales coordinators kasi normally ang mga sales managers or sales heads, they're busy. May inaalagaan kasi ang role nila account management. So yung existing accounts and finding new accounts, yan ang focus ng sales managers and sales head. The coordinators are the first point in the sales and marketing department yung merong direct contact sa guest o sa client. Sa kanila, madalas nag-fall yung mga walk-in inquiries, phone-in inquiries, yung mga talaw. Front of his agent, very obvious. Direct contact sila. Kasi nga, for check-in and check-out pop, um, uh, processes sa kanila unang pupunta. Mom, cooks pareho din. Direct contact, yes po. Minsan, di ba, pag masarap yung food sa restaurant, sinong cook nyo 
ikaw naman para bilang server or restaurant manager to give more value and to create more value sa dining experience ng customer. Pinapakilala mo nga yun sa chef, diba? And you introduce mo. So, they are also operational positions. So, they involve, that their positions involve direct contact with tourists or guests. So, previsory rules or positions. Ano-ano to? These people hire, manage, motivate, and schedule operational positions as well as provide key functional experience. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Ibig sabihin, most often than not, sila yung mga supervisors or junior level managers sa industriya. Sila yung they act as officer or team leaders, officer in charge or team leaders sa departments. So yan, it can be from office supervisor, yung assistant f and manager, guest services manager, senior events manager, ayan ha, yung, yan yung sabi ko sa inyo, medyo tricky lang sa ating industry kasi if the title holds a manager, if there's a manager in the title, it doesn't mean na siya yung pinaka department head. Hindi po. Sometimes, they're only the team leaders or officers in charge in the department. Ma-identify mo sila with their functional expertise, with their expertise sa department. They spearhead they need the department, but not necessarily they are the, the department head. Kasi most of the time, ang department heads, sila yung mga director level, sila talaga yung nagbibisisyon sa buong aspect ng department mo. But, as a team leader, you have the influence to hire, to manage the people within the department, and to motivate or train yung mga members ng department. Kasi nga, ikaw yung pinaka-team leader, OIC ka. Pag wala yung um, department head mo, because the department head has so many functions. May mga um, cross-functionally, cross-functionally, may mga responsibilities yung mga department heads na. Hindi lang yung pag-uubosin mo, isang department mo sa buong operations ng hotel, may mga responsibilities nila. So, ang next in line would be the team leaders or the managers, senior managers, junior managers ng department na yan. Okay. So, yan. They are the supervisory positions. They have the influence to hire or sometimes, in most cases, sila rin mismo yung, yung pinaka um, uh, recommendation mo. Kunwari, in the process of hiring, yung pinaka-recommendation mo sa tao yun, yung pinaka-decision mo dun sa applicant, yun yung pakikinggan ng department head. Kasi anyway, kung ngayon team leader, you have the expertise in that department, in that role. So, it influences ultimately yung decision process and hiring process. So, they have the influence to hire, to manage, to train, to motivate the whole department. Now, what are the manager, management positions? So, sino itong mga managerial roles na ito? Ito naman, yung mga positions involving budgeting, analyzing, planning, change management in order to help employees and the organization to grow and prosper. So there may also be interaction with other tourism sectors and community involvement. So sino to? In one hotel, there are what we call the executive committee. Sila yung mga department heads talaga. They are in the management positions. The department heads can be the director of sales and marketing 
director of finance or court or financial controller, um, executive chef, operations manager, or hotel manager, rooms and revenue manager, director of food and beverage, chief engineer. These are the key positions in the hotel who lead the whole department. So sila talaga yung mga department heads kung tawagin. Ma, si operations or hotel manager, ano pala siya? Um, management position na siya, hindi siya executive level. Well guys, kapag malaki po ang hotel niya, may general manager at merong hotel manager. Ang hotel manager, ang function niya is to oversee the whole operations. It's not the function of the general manager. General manager is actually parang more revenue-based and strategy-based ang focus. Hotel manager, ang focus niya, operations, yung methods and processes in your oversee niya if in line with the policies and how mababago yung processes na yun. Paano pa may improve o matadevelop yung processes na yun para ma-optimize yung revenue. Yan ang function ng hotel manager. Merong general manager na part ng executive position. Merong hotel manager na part ng mga management position. So, department head siya. Anong hawak ng hotel manager? Hawak niya ang housekeeping, hawak niya ang front office, hawak niya ang engineering. Lahat ng mga um, in charge sa operations. F&B as well, hawak ng hotel manager. Si general manager, hawak niya marketing, hawak niya ng sales, hawak niya ang rooms, reservations, and reservations and revenue. Yan ang mga hawak niya. All the revenue generating na kay general manager. Lahat ng support departments, support departments, ito na yan, sa so operations, hawak ni hotel manager. Purchasing, human resources, maintenance, rooms division. Ah, sorry. Rooms division, it means yung mga housekeeping niya. Ganyan. Hawak niya ni hotel manager. Okay. Now, ito na. Ah, ganun ba? So, sino yung mga executive na yun? Ang mga executive po, they are often responsible for several departments or divisions and usually work at a regional, national, or international level. Yung mga conglomerate and large chain hotels. Yung mga chain hotels na yan, kung tawagin. Yung mga nasa management positions sa mga regional level and international level, they are called the executives. They are responsible for strategic planning, and have significant budget responsibility. They are the people who set the budget. Diba, in-explain ko last time sa mga previous lecture ko, the difference between budget and forecast. These people, the executives, set the budget, the quota for hotels, for restaurants. Kung sino yung mga nakaupo sa pinakataas, top management talaga ng company, they are what we call the executives. Sorry, malitong ano ko title ko. It should be executive positions. So who are they? They are the general manager, regional manager, the VPs, the EVPs. Next to the president or the CEO is the executive vice president. He represents the president of the company or the CEO. Then, ang mga downline niyan, mga vice presidents, VP for human resources, VP for commercial sales, VP for marketing, VP for operations, VP for um, business development. Then, uh, kung localized, kasi ito nga, ano to eh, regional level to or 
nationwide level tong mga to. Nationwide kasi sila yung nag oversee ng buong chain ng buong uh, chain of hotels under that group. For example na lang si Minakulalayo, SM Hotels and Convention Centers. Diba? Sino ang nakaupo as um, Executive Vice President? Si Ms. Peggy Angeles. Siya ang Executive Vice President ng SM Hotels and Conventions. She represents the owner. So, kinakaspeed niya lahat ng gusto at plano ng owner. Strategically, meaning accurately, measurably, yung mga plano, action steps na kailangan ito toward the goal, yung revenue and profit na gustong ma-achieve, siya ang nagkakaskade nun sa mga chain of hotels under SM Hotels and Convention Centers. So, ano-ano yung mga chain of hotels na yan? We have Talvista, we have Pico de Loro, um, hotels managed by SNHCCR, Radisson Blue, Diba? Um, ano pa ba? Park Inn. Yan. Mga managed by SM Hotels. Mga international chain pero locally managed by SM Hotels. So, this hotels. Conrad. Conrad is managed by SM Hotels. So, meron niyang individually may general manager yan. So, from the executive vice president, may vice presidents yan. Tapos, merong general manager yan kada hotel. Iba-ibang general manager. So, these are called the executive positions. Executive positions yan. Example. Ito, itong example kung to ng organizational chart. Sa isang hotel lang to. Hindi siya international or nationwide or regional level. So, in a local set setting lang, meaning sa isang hotel lang, you have the general manager, downline, ng, downline yan, kung, kung malaking hotel ka, down, downline ng general manager, nandito ang hotel manager or operations manager. Tapos, under hotels ma- hotel or operations manager, nandiyan yan. Uh, front office manager niya, chief engineer niya. Ito yung mga management level. These are the department heads na. Uh, department heads na. Ayan. Hawak niya ni hotel manager sa mga malalaking hotel. Hawak niya ni hotel manager si front office manager, chief engineer, human resources manager, executive housekeeper, F&B manager, executive chef, hawak niya ni hotel manager. Hotel Operations Manager. Tapos under them, you have the um, supervisory roles. Yeah. FOS. So, lead Engineer. Sous Chef. Accountants. Ito meron. And senior, senior Sales Managers or Senior Events Managers. Yun yung mga supervisory roles. Um, before I move on to the employability skills, siguro bigyan ko lang dun kayo na konting background sharing or industry sharing kung ano-ano ba yung mga core areas or departments ng hotel. Yan. The organization of a hotel is actually very complex kasi. It comprises of various departments. It depends on the structure of the hotel or of the company. And all departments may have their own managers reporting to the general manager or the assistant general manager. So, the managers na tinutukoy dito are the department heads reporting to the assistant general manager, meaning the hotel or operations manager, or sometimes directly reporting to the general manager. Kami sa sales, we're directly reporting to the general manager. So, pag meron ka ipapa-approve mag- na rate deviation o mag, mag-de-deviate ka sa regular rate, takbuhan namin talaga directly sa general manager. Magpapag-proof kami. Kaya naman, pag may nagawa kang bulimin, 
hindi mo si Neil. Yan. Si general manager ang tutupok sa'yo. Papaluin ka. Okay? In the hotels, um, na, na mention ko na kanina, the departments can fall under two categories. Revenue earning or support departments. So, the revenue earning departments or revenue generating departments are operational departments that either sell, uh, sell services or products that directly generate revenue for the hotel. Okay. So, sa revenue earning departments, nandito yung front office, food and beverage, and Uh, hotel operating shops, ayan, sales and marketing, andyan din sa revenue generating department. Kaya pag may mga revenue meetings, kami pag revenue meetings, sa mga nakaupo doon, general manager, financial controller, ito accounts manager niya, financial controller, or <laughs> director of finance. So ayan, yan ang mga nakaupo sa revenue meetings. Yung F&B manager, um, senior event manager, or director of sales and director of business development, sila yung mga nakaupo sa revenue meetings. Support documents, as I mentioned, this include human resources, maintenance or engineering, purchasing, housekeeping, and so on. They help generate revenue indirectly. by playing a support role in the hotel's revenue. Paano indirectly at saka paano how do they contribute to the revenue by so, in a supporting role. Siyempre, magbibenta mo ba ang isang kwarto kung ito ay madumi? Diba? The housekeeping is in charge in the upkeep and maintenance ng kwarto. Bago mo ibenta, dapat malinis yan. Well kept, And well maintained, well clean. So, sino ang may role doon? The housekeeping. So, in that sense, they support you. They support yung goal natin as a hotel na makar-generate ng revenue from the hotel guest rooms by cleaning yung uh, guest rooms which would make it ready for occupancy and for saving. So that's their support role. Indirectly. Hindi man sila yung directly magbebenta niya. Kailangan pa rin natin yung support na nila. Diba? Otherwise, kung madumi yan, kung walang maglilinis na housekeeping na dyan na available, hindi natin mabibenta yan. Hindi mabibenta ng front office, hindi mabibenta ng rooms reservations, hindi mabibenta ng sales managers or accountants. Managers. Okay, in a large hotel, the housekeeping, housekeeping, front office, and maintenance departments, minsan merong um, special projects and engineering. Special projects is in charge for the maintenance, yung mga kailangan i-refurbish na furniture, bumabagsak sa special projects. Pero it falls under the engineering department. So, these three departments, housekeeping, front office, maintenance, or engineering, it comes under the front office or rooms division. Sorry, hindi front office. But they fall under the rooms division or rooms department. Ito, ito, ito. Kasi they have um, vital rules sa pag-maintain, pag na, sa profitability. They have vital rules on the profitability of the guest rooms. The rooms division is responsible for maintaining and selling the room in the hotel. So, yun nga yun. A hotel's Largest margin of profit. Kaya nga, ikaw hotel. You are in the business of accommodation. Its largest margin or margin or profit comes from the rooms. Yes, rooms. Because yung room, once made or once cleaned, can be sold over and over again. 
So the rooms division is headed by the rooms division manager to whom the front office manager, executive housekeeper, and very often the chief engineer report. In, in other cases, sa ibang hotel, ang rooms division manager um, is replaced by the hotel operations manager. Na. So, pag mga large-scale hotel talaga, aside from the hotel's uh, operations manager, may rooms division manager. So, siya nagre-represent sa tatlong department na to. Housekeeping, engineering and maintenance, and front office. Ano bang pwede pong i-share sa inyo about siguro sa hotel operations ano ninyo um, lecture or course matatouch up niyo rin naman yan madidiscuss niyo. Si front si food and beverage man ito front office alam niyo na more or less ano yan yung mga telephone operators or TADX um concierge, front office agents, which fall under front office manager, chief engineer, yan, mga engineers, technicians, um, helpers or assistants sa special projects, yan, it falls under the maintenance or engineering department. Human resources, syempre, HR manager ka. It is in charge for recruitments, Orientation, training, employees' welfare and compensation. They ensure that labor that their labor laws are in place and implemented. And ito pinaka important they ensure that the safety of the employees and their guests are the top priority. So they line up or they lay out the norms and guidelines and policies. Um for safety and security of our guests and employees. Yung ibang hotels like Shangri-La, Marriott, Sheraton, yung mga malalaking hotels, um, meron pang separate na training ma training department. Bukod sa human resources manager, uh, human resources, meron training department. Actually, the training department is a branch of human resources. Then. It is an ancillary department. Attached department siya ng human resources. So, in some hotels, it is spearheaded by a training manager, syempre. And training executive or training um, officers who are in charge in implementation and implementation of trainings for career and personal development at saka yung task ng orientation of new employees nasa training department. Yun yung sa mga malalaking hotel lang. Sa sales and marketing, ang under niya normally are um, ang sales and marketing department, ang hawak niyan ang pinaka department head niyan, either director of sales or director of business development. Then under it, ang mga supervisory level dyan are the rooms and revenue manager, senior sales manager, senior events manager. So ang mga nakapaloob dyan, kumbaga kung ang human resources may attach a branch ancillary department na training department. Ang sales and marketing, nandyan ang reservations, nandyan ang events and banquets, nandyan ang uh, uh, events and catering department, and lastly, nandyan yung mga sales manager in charge for corporate sales and social sales. Diba? Mga uh, yung mga nagbibenta ng packages for yung mga nag to company to company nagbibenta ng packages ng hotel so they are the sales managers so hmm. 
ang function niya, ah, and lastly, apat pala yan, merong marketing department. So, si marketing, yan yung in charge of promotions, advertising, yan. So, ito, itong sales and marketing department is actually in charge for the sales, personal relations, or um, account management, advertising, and getting MICE business. MICE business, MICE stands for meeting, incentive, conference, and exhibition. So, lahat ng negosyo that fall under it, they make hanap. They hanap the benta under MICE uh, sector. And also, sino nag-feed sa marketing ng information ang sales managers or events managers or senior managers ng sales and events, they do the market research. So, all in all, ang pinaka-common goal ng apat na attach department under the sales and marketing is to sell pro the products of the firm. It can be rooms and the services, services, yung catering, yung food and beverage outlets, yan, yan ang pinaka common goal ng apat na department na attach sa sales and marketing. Yung purchasing department, sometimes in, sa ibang structure ng hotel, nagpo-fall yan sa finance. So, nasa finance siya. Kasi may pera rin namang involved sa purchasing. Merong budget and um, allocation. Baga, merong revolving fund sa purchasing. So, yun yun. Employability, let's now skip to employability skills for tourism and hospitality. Ito, syempre, communication skills. If you're cooperative and you encourage and promote teamwork among the, among the organization, you're a good problem solver. You're open to challenges. Diba? And you can find innovative ways to solve a problem, you have good initiative and enterprising attitude. Proactive ka. Even before the problem occurs, nakapag-isip ka na, nakapag-lay out ka na ng mga plan mo or ng mga policies sa department. Planning and organize, uh, organizing skills. You possess a good planning and organizing skills. Good self-management, lifelong learning attitude. Ito, some skills can be taught. It depends on the attitude of the person. Kung open siya na magbago at mag-develop ng sarili niya. Di ba kanina, yung attributes of a good entrepreneur, uh, of a successful entrepreneur, diniscuss na natin. Same kung maghahanap kayo ng tao for your business or for your organization or kung magiging empleyado kayo in the future, you also have to change your attitude. Diba? Kailangan, hindi pwedeng kung ano yung ugali mo, yung lagi yung masusunod, yung lagi yung um, ipopromote mo. You have to meet uh, the expectations as well ng organization. Kailangan mo mag-effort to change. It's for your development and progress. Too. Good technology know-how because in these times, very useful and helpful if you have the knowledge in systems and automation. Kasi sa mga hotels, kapag nag-work ka, ewan ko kung meron pang mga nakamanual ngayon. Siguro the, the two-star or three-star hotels, yung mga, yung mga inns, yan, manual check-in, manual operating system yan. Pero sa mga three-star to luxury 
hospitals, mga naka-automated yan or op- may operating system na. Opera or Raquel. So, maganda rin. This is a technical skill. Kunwari, you know how to operate Opera or Oracle. That's a technical skill. So, you have a good technology know-how. Sabi ko sa inyo, tatouch up ko to ng soft skills and hard skills. Um, I'll give you an idea sa recruitment process sa panahon nyo. Kasi in the future, definitely, mag evolve pa to. So, by the time na nakagraduate kayo, baka talagang um, hinahanap mo to. Kasi as a recruiter, ako, I myself have experience applying for various job positions. No mga unang panahon ng newly graduate ako, wala kaming concept ng, concept ng soft skills and hard skills. Always technical skills ang hinahanap. Pero to this day, um, soft skills has been um, widely accepted. So, ano bang difference nito? Hard skills, ito yung mga technical skills mo. These are your assets or um, these are your assets and yung mga, yung mga na-earn mo. Kumbaga, these are all tangible. For example, education mo. Are you a graduate of hotel and restaurant management or tourism management? Yeah, tingin lang yan. Are you a four years graduate? Four year course graduate? Diba? Are you, do you have um, master real units? Do you earn, did you earn master real units? And after college, yun yung mga hard skills. Something that is tangible, objective. Nakikita mo, alam mo, um, it was earned. Diba? It was developed. So, in terms of engagement, or yung social, um, social activity ng tao, yung in terms of engagement sa hard skills, ito naman yung um, listening mo, um, how you solve problems, your strategies in solving problems, ano, kumbaga, example nito, yung coding, yung mga um, programming, accounting, kung paano ka nagbabalance, paano ka nagpaprocess ng balance sheet, mga ganun. Something technical pa rin, di ba? Writing. Ano yung writing skills mo? Cooking skills mo? Yan. So, IQ. Yung IQ naman, in terms of dependency, yung IQ level mo, mataas ba? Matalino? Ganun. Okay, so, ito, yan yung mga hard skills na tinatawag. These are concrete professional skills, technical or professional skills that are usually measurable and quantifiable. Maka-quantify mo. It can be something that is learned in the classroom or experiences mo in the job. Um, mga something na na-earn mo through online courses by reading. Yan yung mga hard skills. When it comes to soft skills, ito naman yung part na ng personality mo. Something that is ingrained sa pagkatao mo. Ito yung minsan nahirap pa mo. Especially kung ikaw bilang future entrepreneur, mag interview ka, Mahirap na measure ito kasi hindi mo pa alam, hindi mo pa totally kakilala yung ini-interview ito. So sometimes nare-realize mo lang ito. Kapag onboard na siya, nakikita mo na yung ugali niya. So soft skills are part of your personality. It includes 
gano'n ba siya, gano'n ba kahaba yung pasensya niya, gano'n siya ka-empathic, gano'n siya ka-tsaga sa trabaho, ano yung leadership skills niya. This is something that is personality-based, kaya puro emotions. Something that is personality-based and subjective. Yung mga innate qualities niya, qualities that the person is born with, that was developed over time. Paano mo ba yan mga measure? Bigyan mo ng mga scenarios during the interview. Bigyan mo siya ng mga, kaya di ba sa mga interviews natin, sometimes it is structured in a way na naka um, scenario. Kasi hindi doon tinitingnan kung paano ka sumagot at paano yung communication skills mo. Ang tinitingnan doon, how you respond to situations. Kasi makikita yung soft skills mo. So, ma'am, ano yung pinaka-importante? Mas mataas ba dapat yung soft skills ko than the hard skills ko? Well, um, it depends naman sa chosen ko mo. No? Kung ngari, doctor ka, um, lawyer ka, um, yung mga ganyang kailangan talaga, mataas ang technical skills or knowledge, mataas ang knowledge mo. Kailangan, mas, mas, mas greater yung hard skills mo. Diba? Pero kung, um, yan, HR ka, napunta ka sa recruitment, napunta ka sa banking, dapat medyo empathic, a mix of empathic and technical skills, emotional and technical skills. A good mix of emotional and technical skills mo. Uh, yeah, both hard and soft skills, mabalance out mo. Pero pag salesperson ka, kailangan maka-establish ka ng good rapport with clients, a good relationship with your clients. Sales, marketing, politicians, you must have soft skills. Greater dapat yung ma-project mo sa soft skills mo. Kasi nga, pero sa akin, pag nag-hire ako sa department, I look into the person's soft skills than the hard skills. Kasi for me, the technical skills can be earned over time. Yung hard skills niya can be developed kasi trainings, by experience, di ba? Pero ang ugali, hindi kasi yan na minsan matigas na eh. Kung ano talaga, yung innate qualities na isang tao, sometimes mahirap baguhin. O most of the time, mahirap baguhin. So, ako, I always look into the soft skills of the person. Yung hinare ko, pinaka-last na hinare ko sa team ko, is actually, kung titingnan mo yung resume na, para siyang uh, political butterfly, if you've heard that term, palipat-lipat siya ng department. So, kung titignan mo siya, point blank, isipin mo na, ano ka ba, wala ka bang kakontent. Pero dahil fresh graduate siya, it can, it can, it can also mean na, um, ano lang siya, in-explore pa niya. Hindi pa niya alam where he fits best. Where he fits best. So, inano ko yun, she, she, she nag off ko mo na yun. Kasi, yung tao, when I'm interviewing in English, he responds in Tagalog. Pero, yung answer niya is very um, straight to the point. Talagang nakukuha niya yung sagot. Even na, ang sagot niya Tagalog, kahit English ako nagtanong nakukuha niya pa rin yung sagot. So, ibig sabihin, parang may ibubuga tong taong ito. May knowledge to. May experience naman to. There are things that can be developed sa kanya. Yan. Communication skills na can be developed. Naman. So, I accept him. In Inon board namin siya. Kasi makikita mo rin naman yung ugali niya through the scenarios that I gave him. 
some tips pag nag-apply kayo in the future para ma-showcase niyo yung hard and soft skills niyo. Take cues, di ba? Pag nag-apply kayo, tumitingin kayo online. Makikita doon yung job responsibilities. Pick up some uh, cues or uh, some um, phrases doon sa job description, sa job responsibilities. Yun yung gamitin nyo or demonstrate nyo. Okay. Or if para naman na-showcase yung soft skill nyo, kumari, kasabihin mo na I am resilient, I am persevering, I am patient, imbis na mga motherhood statements na naman. Cite examples. When have you last demonstrated your resiliency? Anong scenarios yung napakita mo yung patience mo? Yan. Demonstrate examples or experiences. Don't just say it. Kasi kung ako rin yung interviewer, hindi ako maniniwala sa'yo. Hindi kita kilala. So, it might be, I still have doubts on you. Yeah. Or add skills. Mag-add ka ng mga skills mo. Ako, sa resume ko, lahat ng skills ko, hard skills nandun, even soft skills ko. Next. Yan. Mga quotes to leave you with. Ito kay Bill Gates. As we look ahead into the next century, leaders will be those who empower others. Ang greater dito is the leader's soft skills. Kasi kahit ang leader mo, pag mataas ang IQ, pero wala namang em- emotions, walang empathy sa employers. The employers, uh, walang empathy sa employees. The employees in return won't love the management. So, hindi mataas, may grievances, hindi ka rin magsasaksin. Whereas, if you make your employees always happy, tutulungan pa niyan sa negosyo mo na marating yung goal at magsaksin. No matter how smart you are, if you don't know how to work with people, your dreams will just be dreams. Sabi ni Jack Ma. Ito rin, a display of resiliency and ano and ah uh, yeah a display of resiliency si Michael Jordan imagine how many times he has failed but he stood up and um succeeded so yeah I'll leave you with these tips eto yung mga tips that are useful kapag nag apply kayo or kapag mag apply kayo in the future. The entrepreneurial activities. The tourism and hospitality are dominated by small businesses and the vast majority of entrepreneurs are lifestyle rather than rational professionals. Sa industriya natin, hindi lang mga large chain hotels, large chain restaurants, or big conglomerate airlines, yung consider mo na uh, contributor sa industriya. Marami pong small businesses in our industry, the spas. Yung mga spa, mga recreational theme parks. Diba? Kasama yan sa entertainment and division or sector ng ating hospitality or tourism industry. And kung mapapansin nyo, hindi tayo mga professional based, hindi tayo mga accountants, hindi like um, doctors, hindi mga lawyers, hindi mga educators. No. Yung yung activities within the industry, within the hospitality and tourism, are geared toward lifestyle. Ang ina-attack natin are lifestyle needs. Kaya nga may airline. Kasi 
pla- kunwari, ang isang individual, ang lifestyle niya, mahilig mag-travel, yan yung pang de-stress niya. Diba? Mahilig kumain. Ako, mahilig ako kumain. So, that's a lifestyle. Diba? Mahilig mag- um, mag stress Mahilig, mag, kung mahilig ka mag-travel, it comes na mag-hotel ka. Pag mag-de-stress ka, it comes na pwede kang pumunta sa spa, sa mga recreational centers, sa mga theme parks. Yan. Okay. So, ang activities natin revolves around the lifestyle of the market. Tourism, hospitality, and leisure are primarily based on entrepreneurship and small businesses. Yan na rin yun. Hmm. Ito, basahin nyo na lang siya. Yung importance ng entrepreneurial activities. It's, it's, it's self-explanatory. So, kaya-kaya nyo siyang intindihan. If you have questions, um, feel free to raise them next week. Kapag hindi na suspend ang klase na naman, I'll meet you for the last time before midterms natin. So we can review and we can raise your clarifications and questions. Well, thank you very much for listening and I hope that all the materials that I'll be leaving with you will be used and will be helpful for your study. Thank you very much.